In this video we're going to learn how to change a Zoom video meeting password. Any errors are mine and not by Zoom. Recorded today the 6th of April. So a couple of days ago Zoom, as we can see down here, have chosen to enable passwords on meetings, extra security features. We can read all about it because as we know the world is using Zoom an awful lot in this situation which means that here's a public Facebook post that I saw yesterday which prompted this video. So somebody wants to do a group which remains anonymous and they have posted the whole lot. They've posted their join Zoom meeting ID, the meeting ID password and the full length. Look, do not let in bad actors. They are bad people who will do bad things in meetings and mess it up for you. Enough said about that. So what can we do to be more secure? In this video we're going to look at mobile, free accounts of Zoom, personal meeting rooms and a tiny bit about waiting room logos and names as you'll see. So to get cracking on mobile in your app where it says meetings at the top all you need to do is click edit you will see a number there which is a six digit number all you need to do is tap it and change it. That is it to change the password. My tip change these passwords frequently. So in the Zoom free account and this is on desktop we can go to meetings and start a new meeting, schedule a meeting. You can add a title, the description and then you can go down to the bottom where it says meeting password. Zoom remember have put these in with a default password. You can change it as I will tell you later and for these reasons. In a Zoom free account every new meeting ID will change every time you start a new meeting. So you could, to save a bit of time, always set up the same password for those clicks. If of course you give people out the full link, as you can see down here in this demonstration, then you don't need the password. But these other numbers down here means that your meeting ID could change every single time. So if people were joining manually, you can actually put the same password that you can give out to your team or your people and then it will just save a tiny step. Remember Zoom free accounts do not have a custom me meeting ID, a personal meeting ID. So with those personal meeting rooms, maybe on the pro account, um, then you can go in and look at something like your password. To get this change you need to scroll to the bottom to edit the meeting and then once again you've got the meeting password with a rectangle that you can click in and change it. Then we can see that in the normal Zoom pricing free accounts do not have the access to a custom personal meeting ID. That's one of the reasons um, that in this situation in the world that we're in everybody's using Zoom for free. Huge celebrities and people like that who would normally be on television are praising it. Now as a final bit here the Zoom waiting room as far as I can see a user can add any image and any name to a Zoom meeting. So here's one I did earlier and if I honestly believe that in my Zoom waiting room Donald Duck has entered the waiting room for this meeting now I may agree that Donald Duck is a real person coming in or it's just somebody messing around. So if you're in a team um, I don't know, let's say you're on a Microsoft team and suddenly Bill Gates wants to come in the room, the chances are that it could be him. Or it's just a spammer who's just put a fake name and a fake picture to steal your company secrets or just mess around and waste your time. So the final tip here is if the meeting room ID stays the same, you could change the password often. That will add to your security. Number two, if the meeting room ID changes every meeting, then you could keep the password the same so that your team and your regular uh, community people coming in, if they're doing it manually, they've got the same password. But as long as you could change one or the other, it makes it more secure. And of course, never give out the Zoom meeting room link to anyone you do not trust because it's like Chinese whispers. Some bad actor will get hold of it. And do not post the whole link. In other words, the meeting ID, the link and the password, all three things in a public place like you saw there in a minute ago because it's not great. At the end of the day, apart from everything online, we want to stay safe and stay healthy. So that was how to change Zoom video meeting password from me, Mike Downs. Have a lovely rest of the week.